Hey, this is Mike from GoCellPhoneRepair.com, and today we are going to use the new Pangu Jailbreak on an iPhone 5. This will work on any iOS device 7.1 or 7.1.1. What we're going to need to do is go to the Pangu website, P-A-N-G-U.io, and you'll see here they have a Windows and a Mac option. It looks like my understanding is that the Mac option is not available yet, but should be in the near future. So for now, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the Windows option, and we will save this file, which is very small, to the computer. So it shouldn't take you more than a minute, uh, assuming you have a decent download speed. So we'll give this just a minute to download, and I'll speed things up here a bit. All right, so now once we've got the file downloaded, we'll go ahead and run the Pangu uh, jailbreak tool. And we should see something happening here shortly. Now, if you take a look down here in the bottom left-hand corner, there is a checkbox um, and obviously some unsupported characters. So uh, my recommendation would be to uncheck this box. This is most likely agreeing to install some sort of third-party adware onto your computer don't necessarily need that the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and click on this little button with the four question marks which i would assume would uh, probably translate to confirm or proceed and once you do that you're going to see some uh, a picture basically on the screen that is going to tell you you need to go into your settings and under your date and time you're going to have to change uh, not only from what i've been told the option for um, let's see, let's go into general here. So under date and time, we need to do a couple of things. What we want to do is turn off the set automatically option. And that is going to allow us to go down here and change the date to June 2nd of 2014. I'm not sure why we have to do that, but apparently that's the only way this jailbreak is going to work. So you'll notice that after you do that, the progress bar here on the jailbreak tool is actually going to work. It'll go across to about 50%. And at that point, if you go back to your home screen and scroll to the second one on the right, you'll see there's actually a Pangu icon. So if you go ahead and click that and go ahead and hit continue, and then just sit back and relax. You do not want to inter interrupt this process while it is jailbreaking the iPhone. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes and losing your connection with the computer or power to the phone could cause some problems. So definitely just want to be patient and let this thing run its course. and you will have a series of reboots during the process. So don't be alarmed when the phone powers down, it'll come back on a couple of times. And once we get City installed, it may actually reboot one more time after that. So again, just be patient and wait until you've got a couple of minutes where the phone isn't doing anything and then you'll know that the process has been completed. And of course, we'll have iTunes open up. So we're just going to move this out of the way. And for some reason, this is telling me my storage is almost full, which is not correct. And see, we got another reboot here before I even got the screen unlocked. And you can see on the computer also that the progress bar is no longer moving across here. So uh, presumably everything is done on the computer's end. The rest of the jailbreak will take place on the handset and it should be completed within the next couple of minutes.
All right, so now, and you can see it doesn't like my, ca my uh, charging cable either. If we open up the phone, well, that's the plan. If we scroll over to the second screen, you can see that we have a Cydia icon. Once you launch Cydia, there will be um, a couple more steps to go through here. Basically, we've got Cydia installed, but we'll have to allow it to update. And then what I've been told is there another there is another piece of third-party software that automatically installs during this jailbreak. So we'll go ahead and see if we can figure out how to delete that. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Post your questions in the comment section below or visit gocellphonerepair.com forward slash forum. Thanks for watching.